Pittsburgh. I've lived in a lot of places, but never this part of the country. Uh, I lived. I grew up on the Gulf Coast. I have lived in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, South Carolina, Oregon, Washington, and Alaska. And it, you know, Pittsburgh is the prettiest city I ever lived in. I'm Nathan Woodall. I uh, and just your average middle-aged nerd, I guess. Um, I moved out to Pittsburgh from Houston, Texas in December of 2019 uh, because I got work. I had gotten a new job. It was a new opportunity. This, the hills, the geography, I'm still lost thinking I'm going west when I'm going east and vice versa. Uh, I'd be up the creek without my GPS. I can guarantee you that. And I have to have two of them. The one in the car doesn't always work right. This one is the backup. So I started looking and I'd go and I'd drive everywhere. And I would, before I'd ask to see the house, I'd go drive by the house to see for one, what it was looked like, two, what the neighborhood looked like, and three, I would drive from the house to the office to see what the commute would be like. And there were some places I, I, I liked the place, but I did not want to make that drive for all kinds of reasons. One of them, I couldn't imagine it in the winter. The place was like 100-ish, and I offered 20 over list, and uh, it wasn't immediate 20 over. I offered list with a 20 escalation, 20 over escalation. The people who got that house offered 40 over list. For a three bedroom house with one bathroom, no Pittsburgh potty, one bathroom, a three bedroom house. <laughs> and it wasn't huge. It, it, it just, I, I, and how do you compete with that? You know, what, what, you know, what, what can men do against such reckless hate? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, that's, uh, I, I just was like, okay. And I actually kind of gave up for a couple weeks on that because I was getting pretty heartbroken. Well, one of the reasons I'm so excited about this house is uh, that I have, like I said, three dogs. It's a tiny little apartment with a tiny, tiny little yard. So literally every time somebody goes to the bathroom, I'm out there with a claw scooping three, four times a day, depending on how much I feed them. <laughs> and uh, it, even then, you know, and, and I walk them as much as I can too, but it's a tiny little apartment. Yeah, they didn't have a yard to themselves, et cetera, et cetera. So this place has a nice yard with, and I can get it fenced on the side from front to back. One of them's a runner, one of them's a ball chaser. Both of them will have lots of room to get some exercise there, just at the house alone, so I'll be good there. Um, but the other reason is I have a lot of friends, and we're all nerds, and we like to drink beer, play games, and tell dirty jokes. And I have a place for that now. And, you know, I can finally be a host. I can finally have people come over and hang out, uh, you know, throw a bunch of games on the table, pick one for the night, and everybody party.